Well, that bravado's got to hide something. Besides, Roxanne told me. Well, he's gonna be all right, though, yeah? I don't know why you look so worried. You don't even like him. Shouldn't you be looking for Azazel? <laughs> There's no need. Why? Because he left this behind. And I've got a feeling he'll be back for it. It's beautiful, isn't it? You're very privileged, you know. Not many people have seen the language of angels. They call it the Stone of Belial. The angels carved it at the height of their war with heaven. What does it do? It's a weapon of sorts. Oh, I'm not going to fry myself, am I? No. No. It allows you to bend the laws of space and time. Mm, very scary. Yeah, it will be if Malachi gets his hands on it. Can you read it? Of course. My father taught me. You've never mentioned him. His name was John D. He was an astrologer. An amazing man. Not so nice to my mother, but that's a different story. What happened to him? You know, as Azil did what he does best. So I do know what it's like to lose someone. You look lo lovely. Well, thank you. So, I've booked us a table somewhere. I hope you don't mind. No, fine. Yeah, it's a bit posh, so you'll have to be on your best behaviour.